So from the hierarchical model, we move now to the second model, which is the market model of governance. So what is the market model of governance? The market model of governance is that to get the best governance, we have to follow the markets. So the civil servants and the bureaucrats have to be trained by the industrialist, by the people who work in business. So only then when the business model is transferred from the business to the government, only then the governance will improve. This model was dominant in the 80s and 90s. In Pakistan too, in the 70s, after the nationalization by the then Prime Minister of Kari Bhutto, uh, in the 1980s, just like in UK, there was dissatisfaction with the hierarchical model and the nationalization. The public was not happy with the services available. In Pakistan, there was also an increase in bureaucratic corruption. So what was the result? The result was the introduction of market model. And that was mainly through privatization. So industries and services which were given by the government were transferred to the private sector so that they became more efficient and better. The first to go in in Pakistan were manufacturing industries and of course in UK too. So in Pakistan we have this rice, flour and key meals which were nationalized in the 1970s were privatized in the 1980s. Then the financial sector like the banks and the insurance companies they were privatized. One of the first banks, there were five major banks in Pakistan, the Muslim Commercial Bank, the Allied Bank, National Bank, Habib Bank. So of these, Muslim Commercial Bank was the least uh, profitable. And this bank was privatized in, the 1981, in 1991. And now it's one of the most profitable banks in Pakistan. So it is one of the success stories. But not all privatization was a success, as we will discuss later on. So then, after the financial sector and insurance companies, there were other AS sectors like fertilizer factories and energy sector. So energy sector was totally controlled by the government up till the 1990s. So Wabda was the only uh, company or corporation or authority which produced electricity, which transferred electricity, and which distributed electricity. Similarly, we had two gas transmission companies, uh, the Sui Nadran and Sui Sadran. So all the, most of the energy sector was controlled by the government. And it was also privatized in the 90s. Some of it was at least privatized. And currently, after 2000, there's also more privatization. And now the privatization has moved to services like garbage, garbage collection or water provision. So why market model? So market model was adopted because it was more efficient. And why efficient? Because the industrialists need to have profits and they want more and more profits. So they cannot make something profitable without decreasing the inputs and increasing the outputs. So the industrialists or the businessmen constantly try to decrease the inputs and increase the outputs, thereby making their company, their firms, their factories more efficient. So market model is also more accountable because people can move away. So if you are not giving the services which people are paying for, people will stop using their service. So if you go to a pizza maker and you know he 
didn't deliver you a good quality pizza, you will go to another pizza maker. If you go to a shop and you were not treated respectfully, you will not go to that shop again. So, private sector is more accountable than the hierarchical model or the government sector. Then, market model is more responsive. Again, because of accountability and because of the power of the people to move away, to stop using your services, businesses are more responsive for what people are saying. So, as in the business, they say, customer is the king. So, whatever the customer says, governments, uh, businesses accept it and try to reform themselves. Unlike the governments in the hierarchical model in which they ignore whatever complaints are coming. And services are not monolithic in the business sector. So, businesses try to tailor their products to the people's taste. So if you go to a pizza maker, it will, he will give you 20 different options, which is not possible, you know, in some government sector where, where you are not given many options. You are given one monolithic thing. You, you like it, you take it. If you don't like it, don't take it. The bureaucrats or civil servant is not concerned. He or she is not going to innovate to help you or to satisfy your concerns. 